Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I was do in Nashville, Tennessee, and welcome to This Old Prison. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to take this old prison and start renovating it to look a little bit more like home. Now, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to remove all the old prison markings, because as much as we love the United States communist markings on this prison, we're going to get rid of them. They're terrible. Actually, we don't love them at all. That's really sarcasm. What is that up there? Well, I took it. Gothic Arch. We might reallocate that later. Now, what we're going to do, probably, is we're going to keep a lot of the uh, original stonework. But we're going to remove a lot of these pillars, a lot of these little desks and stuff like that. The lighting's all going to go. It's just, it's a mess in here. Like, this uh, metal, like, modeled metal, model, if you will, is just going to be completely gone. This motley assortment of chunks, rusty metal, and bunker vents is just completely unattractive and not at all welcoming. If this is going to be our new home on the Bounding with the Stars server, then we need to make sure that it looks completely awesome. So, for example, after we remove this uh, pillar worth of modeled metal here, we can go ahead and put in our replacement, which I'm thinking I'm going to take from a uh, temple I visited earlier. I picked me up a good selection of these temple blocks here. So I can just go ahead and start putting some of those in. So you see that those kind of, uh, they complement what we had going on over there. Now let's just, uh, we're going to put a cheap light on here just to hold us over right now. But as you can see, this brick and the other brick kind of complement each other, I think a little bit better than the way the old one did. Let's get rid of these stupid chairs, these terrible uh, propaganda megaphones, these terrible rusted pillars. We don't need any of that. Okay, now what we will do need, or what we will need though, is some doors. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to use these nice little uh, kind of slot doors here. See, they still sound like a prison, but they're a little bit kind of, they're, they're, they're kind of a copper color, which goes well with these new pillars that we're putting in. Let's also go ahead and clear out some of this stuff here. And I've got some dumpsters out front where I can just throw all this trash into, and uh, we'll let other people on the server kind of reclaim some of that if they want it later. Now, unfortunately, these are, uh, well, when I say dumpsters, I mean like, here's a vending machine. Anything that's in a vending machine, you can just grab if you're uh, visiting my place from somewhere else on the server, other server friends. Small floodlight, we'll hold on to that, get rid of the speakers, get rid of the cafeteria table, you know, all these things. These chairs that you can't hit people with, worthless to me. Metal office desks, terrible. Chairs you can hit people with, holding on to those. Those are great. And I've got a bunch of uh, decorative blocks and things like that that I might place in here later that I've retrieved from various locations. This stairwell out front is just a temporary measure while I go ahead and keep my farm running here because I want to be able to just pop up here at a moment's notice and clear out any of these things that might be ready to go. Oh, like this feather crown seed, which is, uh, where is it now? Is it in my top bar? Here it is. Yay, feather crown, you've been planted. So, oh, and these, these terrible, terrible, like, rusty platforms, those are all going to go too. We're going to get clear out the rust, clear out the dank. We're just going to make this a nice homey house, if not the last homey house. No, it won't be the last homey house because, um, you know, I plan on building other things in the future that are also awesome. Cool. So let's see here. Clearing out terrible water coolers, terrible pillars. This whole place is just going to need to be completely gutted for all intents and purposes. Man, that light over there on that pillar is just not looking great. I'm definitely going to tear that out. It says cheap fluorescent light in the description, and the more I'm looking at it and kind of seeing how it flickers and wavers, it's like, yeah, that was uh, that was an accurate description of that. Uh, so let's go ahead and finish pulling this out here. Okay, and then we can throw in our temple bricks, like so. Looking good. Let's get rid of that entirely. And try putting just the wide fluorescent right at the top here. Okay, that's abysmal. That's, that's, we have no interest in that. 
Well, now that we got our new pillars in place, I think that I'm going to go ahead and rip out some of this terrible old metal scaffolding. It's just all rusted and not great. And try and replace it with some wooden stuff. Let's see how that goes. So we're just going to pick away at that. Now, it's important to, uh, if you have not done this sort of work yourself before, you know, you might want to consider hiring a contractor. It is very easy to fall and hurt yourself. Um, you have to take every sort of job like this seriously. Let's see, so if I just put that one there. Yay, that's terrible. Not at all what I wanted. Woo. Okay, let's just hit that with the pickaxe until it's all not terrible anymore. Now that we got a new platform in place, we can start decorating. As you can see, I've also knocked out this little foyer right here and cleared out that front porch. Now we have a nice little gazebo in what used to be a barbed wire, I don't know, escape scape. I'm thinking that what we might want to do is embed some of these little data crystal things into the wall here. See, doesn't that look cool? Nice little star data things. And as you can see, those are at about eye level. So we'll come in up here and do the same right here. Just kind of have some consistency across the pillars. Excellent. Now what else have we got that we could decorate with? I got some stuff I stole from a tomb earlier. I don't know, that, that just looks like a little much right there. Let's see what else I stole from a tomb. Or from other places. Well, here's something that looks kind of cool. We got our nice little computer console. I don't think it does anything, it just glows, which is neat. What happens if I look at it? Huh. The readout suggests this area is inhabitable. Good to know. So this is already kind of looking a little bit prettier. What else we got here? Environmental data panel. Okay, so we could like put that right there. Ooh, that makes a nice little beep and has a sine wave. But you know what? Um, why don't we, rather than making that the uh, centerpiece of our room, as much as I love the beeping it does, why don't we actually offset those? Maybe uh, since we got two of them, we'll make them what we call equidistant. Ooh, no, I don't like how that's clipping there. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Pop. Okay. But, for example, wow, these things are so big, they really just, they eat the space. Okay, we're going to save those for later, actually. Let's see what other fun stuff we got. We got some metal bars here. We got a prison bench. Well, we're not putting the prison bench and the ventilation stuff back in, I'll tell you that. That would just look terrifying. We got some bones. Bone block, polished bones. Uh, let's, let's hold on to those for now. So I've got these two star map screens remaining, and additionally, I've got some similar looking but not the same data screens. So I can take these data screens then, maybe put them higher up like that in the same block there. So we put one of those there and one of those there. So there we go. Now we got this kind of neat computery center type thing. Another thing you'll notice is I've actually taken some of the floor up here and embedded coals in it to keep my plants well illuminated. So I can just put these burning coals anywhere I want. Now I don't want to put them anywhere that I'm going to touch with my body because they will in fact burn me. But since I so rarely walk inside of this uh, beam here, it's not really much of a concern. Oh hey, reef pod is uh, ready to be replanted as well. So we can just put that there. So I'll just take my pickaxe, hold shift, and then carefully, carefully click on that. Whoops, I have to right click on it. No, I have to left click on it. I'll get it, I swear guys. Boom, so as you can see I just knocked that out. Retrieving some rusty metal here. And then I can just drop this in like so. Boom. So that gives us some neat illumination up here so I'll ultimately be able to get rid of these temporary work lights in favor of having these coals. Now these coals, I retrieved a bunch of them from a tomb, but uh, I can print more of them for a thousand pixels each, which is kind of expensive, but Vet just has uh, some sort of, uh, I don't know, pixel farm thing somewhere. I haven't found it yet, but I need to go visit it and then retrieve all the pixels and then, I don't know, swim around in them like Scrooge McDuck. So here we go. Ta-da! More glowing! Yay! So I'm going to do the whole ceiling like this probably. I probably should have spaced these out a little bit somehow, but they're just so awesome at uh, lighting the thing. I think I'm going to just run it through the whole way. Now, what I'm kind of wishing I had done is run those through the floor of the other part too. And just, because actually I've got a whole bunch of these that I used to pave my driveway with on the way here. 
So maybe I'll go steal those out of the driveway and uh, relay them all inside the structure itself. But I wanted to have the uh, driveway lit up at night so people would be able to find this place. Yay, another reef pot has grown. Excellent. Let's go harvest that real quick. Yay, got plant fiber, rusty metal, and a bunch of other stuff. So we can just take the latest and greatest reef pod seed and plant it. Oh, hey, some more stuff is ready to go. Let's uh, get ourselves an empty inventory spot right there. Great. We have now uh, three more feather crown seeds. Boom. Planted. Next problem. Well, as you can see, we've got our nice little glowing uh, platform here set up for our plants to be illuminated all that long. But one thing that I'm thinking needs to be done is we need some sort of window in the center here. I know I said I was going to maintain this dark brick background here, and I am going to in general, but I think that this particular area down here just lacks a certain openness that would really just kind of give the whole room more of a, I don't know, less prison feel. Now, the thing is, we stole a prison in order to improve it, not in order to imprison ourselves. And you never want to be imprisoned by the, uh, by the aesthetic of the former owner of your home. You know, you need to be able to just say, I'm my own person, and I'm not afraid to come in here and knock down some walls and just really open things up a little bit. So, here we go. Opening things up a little bit. As you can see, the uh, planet's out the background of that upper window there, which is nice. Oh, let's go see how our plants look with that cool glowing light set up. Oh, there's a bird. Thank you, a bird. Prepare to be on fire and in the in the barbed wire. Good. Yeah, see, isn't this pleasant? Kind of gives everything a nice little together feel. You know, I actually might break this light over here. That was an old one. Might remount that over on this side, facing outward or something. Just to kind of, yeah, cheer that wall up a little bit. Over here, I've also added these little gongs to our gazebo, pagoda, bong bong, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I definitely need to do more with this space, maybe put in a bench or something there. But let's see. So anyway, now that we've opened this up, the question is, what are we going to do with it? Are we going to glass it in? Should we lattice it a little bit? Um, we could embrace the spirit of the prison and just put the bars back on, but I'm actually thinking uh, glass would probably be the best thing here. Hopefully I have enough. I haven't really encountered a ton of glow. Nope. Can you smelt sand into glass in this game? I should probably know that. Let's, uh, let's go to our ship and find out. Yeah, assuming that I have any sand left, I've been just throwing it in the trash because I had so much. Oh, yeah, good. Here's plenty of sand. Okay, so I'll just, uh, I don't know, take the sand and put it in here. Smelt. Hey, you do turn it into glass. The more you know. Well, as you can surely see, we have begun rehabilitating this terrifying old prison into a wonderful, beautiful country farm home. And I'm pretty happy with the progress so far. Feel free to suggest whatever you like in the suggestions below. And, uh, you know, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.